Start that breathing. Ah, and if you can move that body, move it. That's the rhythm. Get in that rhythm. That magic flow of life. You got to feel it. Even if you're feeling good, let's keep on dancing. and love and kindness family i'm karen khadija davis folks the one and only conscious self healthcare educator and host of the conscious self healthcare conversation radio show every wednesday from 4 p.m to 5 p.m eastern standard time 1 p.m to 2 p.m pacific standard time community this is your time to share your wellness stories and how you move from disease care to conscious self health care i want to hear your story we want to hear from you Join the conversation each Wednesday. Call in and share how you shift out of chronic disease care stress. Right here on InnerLightRadio.com, the healing frequency. This is Dr. K, and I am looking forward to our conversation. So call in and share. Health is consciousness, and healing is a function of consciousness. Come on, family. It's time to rock the world. With the new frontier of conscious self health care, why I share my wellness story with you right here on innerlightradio.com, the healing frequency. The healing frequency, where your transformation begins. This healing frequency, transformation, elevation, realization. From imagination. Come on, y'all. I know you're breathing. That's deep, 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 deep breaths. Help the lymphatic system do its job. Woo! Dang, you know we breathe. All right, now. Keep on breathing. How you doing? Take a deep, deep, deep breath. Wake up that snake in the body. Right, y'all keep that rhythm going. Keep that beat going. Huh? June 12th. 2019. Keep on moving to the beat. Taking those deep, 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 deep breaths. Ah, you want to feel it. You want to feel that breath. Ah, you want to feel it. You want to know that it's there. You can feel it. The moisture of it. Ah, the breath coming in and the breath going out. Let you know that everything's all right. Ah, if you got a breath, everything's all right. If you got a breath, everything is all right. Taking those deep, deep breaths through the week. Staying in tune, staying in balance with yourself. Feeling good. You set aside today as well on this Wednesday for yourself. But you got to carry this day into every day. You got to have a little piece of wellness Wednesday and every day, all seven days, Monday, Tuesday. Oh, yes, and definitely Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You got to carry a little piece of that wellness with you all the time. Got to stay in that state of mind. You know, it's about a state of mind, conscious, self, health care moves. 
mental observation view is essential for your self success, for success, period, in anything and everything you're doing, but definitely with your body, staying in tune with your true inner self, that inner wealth. You know that poem I got, that invisible soul of your soul. You got to thank the power that be. And you're that power, the Beatitudes. Always be in the state of the Beatitudes. Take care of yourself. Ah, it's being, it's being self-love and self-care and self-worth. It's not um, that other kind of selfishness that people talk about when a person cares for themselves. You know, and, and when you care for yourself so good and look so real to people, they really get upset because they can't move you. Then you know you're doing everything right the way you're supposed to be doing it. And you're in balance and you're in harmony and you're in peace with yourself. Because that's when you vibrate the radiant vibes out into the universe and you align with so many good opportunities and things that's beyond the conscious and the superconscious mind. You get into that trance, that state of oneness, that state of glory, that state of self love. Ah, and you got to calm the breath down sometimes, calm yourself down sometimes. You got to be in a certain mode. Can't be too joyful and you can't be too sad. You got to have a nice rhythm and a flow going on, that ebb, that easy flowing. How you doing, family? How was your week? You're tuned into the Conscious Self Healthcare Conversation Radio Show. I'm your host, Karen Khadija Davis, folks, the one and only Conscious Self Healthcare Educator, helping you understand what your body's symptoms are saying. This information will rejuvenate your thoughts to live a stress and disease free life with Conscious Self Healthcare Moves. Yes, and you can live a stress and disease free life because why? We interchange that word, we take it out, and we put in there what they really are. Sell your malfunctions. Cells are going to malfunction. Thankful for the name of diseases because it gives you a location, it gives you a thought, it gives you a process, and lets you know where the cells are malfunctioning. But you know what? There's a big secret. If it's malfunctioning in one place, it's malfunctioning all over because the body is a whole. It is a whole and it works together. And that's how we have to look at supporting it. So how can I help my organization, Health Education for Longevity and Peace, help you slay your health care fears? False education accepted as reality and false evidence appearing so real out of sync with the natural flow of life that you think that you got to give your power over to some system that takes you away from yourself. I don't care what they want to leave it, if it's allopathic, alternative, holistic, whatever. If they're taking you away from you, you got to sit back and think about it because you always got to be involved in what's going on with your human body. Nobody out there has it over you. They got to go through you. It got to align with you. And that's why I say become your own wellness doctor. You know what I say every week? How many out you are there out there learning anatomy and physiology and beginning to understand some things? And you ain't got to be all down with all the test results the way they are. But when you get a gist of what they saying and how they saying it, and then you start looking a certain way and ask, start, start uh, asking certain questions, they're going to look and say, oh, wait a minute, this person may know something. How am I going to handle this? Because I can say 100% that what people are getting smarter. They are becoming more intelligent. They are waking up. They are not just saying it is something that the Western medicine want to say about them. Okay, thank you, but let's see how we can work this out. You know, and if they tell you there's nothing you can do but take a drug, that's not the doctor for you. You got to leave because if they can give you the opportunity to ask yourself, do you want it, then you don't need it. If it's an emergency situation and something's going down and you end up in the hospital, you got to do it their way. But other than that, for the daily care of your body, you got to think about it. What does the body really, really need? You got to remember, medicine only been around for 100 years. And what they done done with it since then? Practically everything that was established 100 years ago, where is it at? <laughs> been disproved. They done come up with something else. And we got to say thank you to it all. We got to bless it all and love it all. Kawhi. Love, the laws of vibrational energy. 
Take a deep breath and feel the love, the love of life, the love that comes through your breath, the soul of who you are, that inner wealth. It's the power that brings my entire life together. It heals, renews, restores, and empowers me with divine energy and life. Anytime something comes my way that seems out of balance, it's not giving me or, or, or showing me a reflection of something of love and kindness, law, I turn it around and send it back to the sender. You know? I am love in action. You are love in action. I am a master of positive self expression. I say this every week to you, hoping you'll think about it and it'll just pop up in your thoughts through your week, and then you can catch yourself and take your deep, 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 deep breaths because we are here to be givers and receivers of love. That's for ourselves. Love, 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 love. That's the religion of God. Love. That's the religion. Love. That inner wealth. That invisible soul of your soul. And y'all know I fashion my center after the one and only Take it to you straight with no cut guards. Reverend Ike. Love Reverend Ike. I can actually say I love that man. I love his energy. I love the vibration that he left here on planet Earth. I love the information that empowers you to understand how to take care of your divine self. So you are the master of your thoughts and mind. And we say tell your mind what to think. Tell your feelings what to feel. Tell your body how to react. So what? You are to master your mind, master your feelings, and master your thoughts. You must tell your human holographic image what to do and how to act and how to think. Don't worry about what they call it. Don't worry about what they say to you when you talk like that. You better stay in your lane. You better go to the doctor. You better listen to what they said. They spent those years in school learning and got all the way through medical school and forgot all about the first two years of understanding basic anatomy and physiology and got into nothing but drug therapy. <gasps> no, she didn't say that. Yes, she did. I'm not taking anything away from the doctors. I got so many doctors in my family from the psychology field all the way down to the medical field. And I love them all. And I hope they love me as equally while I'm over here saying what I'm saying. But people, you got to take your power back. You can't be afraid. You got to do what you need to do to understand how to operate and work within this body. You know, are you ready? So are you ready to rewrite your personal health care prescription plan? You got to have a plan like everything else in life. And your health care needs a plan. It's your responsibility. I don't understand why people can do everything to take care of themselves and just get their body over to anybody. Like they ain't got to learn nothing about it. And then they get to running around to everybody, this person, that person, and just don't want to sit, take a moment to sit down and just learn basic anatomy and physiology. But that's just for the physical body. That's just for the physical body. We have to know who we are energetic, the energetic being that we get, the vibration that we give off. We got to come from the high level. We got to come from the high level, bring it down, bring it together, make it one through that field, that human body field, the field of connection, the fields that connect everything together, the soul governing agent of the particle, the field, you're the particle, the field of energy, your human body field, people call it ores and all kinds of things, there's information in that. Because it's aligned with the where it come from, the truth of vibration, the truth of frequency, that energy. So how you do this week? I know you're getting good at it now. I know you're getting great at it. You know how to set back, man, just look at people. And they, I know they're getting pissed off when you're looking at them. And they're like, damn, shit, that person will change. I can't make them react a certain way no more. I can't take their joy away. I can't put them in a stressful state. No, you cannot do that because I love myself. I practice the laws of vibrational energy now, for real. 
And I'm not going to let nobody carry me in that space so I can bring about some stagnation, some blockages, and have that lack of quality oxygen in my body and get things stagnated where even the nutrients that I'm taking, I'm spending money for, I'm eating good, organic, and I'm doing everything. But what's going on? It's not processing in my body right. Why is it not processing right when I'm doing everything? Conscious self-health care. Consciousness plays a role, a big part in it. What you're thinking, what program is really working in your life, that conscious movement, but what is in that subconscious mind that comes up while that conscious mind is thinking something else and that subconscious mind comes in and you're flowing with that all day long thinking you was working with the conscious mind. You got to know your programs. You got to know what's holding you back. It's a lot to life. And it's mostly about setting back and looking at your own self and looking at your own life. And if it means talking to yourself or writing something to yourself or recording to yourself, that's what you got to do is talk to self, self health care, making conscious self health care moves. Mental observation view is essential for self success. So take a deep, deep, deep breath and relax as you begin to tune into yourself, to know thyself. Don't worry about being like, you got to like yourself. When you like yourself, you'll know the difference. Don't worry about being accepted because, see, you got to accept yourself. And when you accept yourself, you don't need to be accepted by others because you accept yourself. Don't worry about being loved. Love yourself. There's all kinds of love, but the greatest love of all, you better believe it, is loving yourself. Don't worry about having friends, because when you are a friend to yourself, in every stage of your life, in every way, you'll see friendship. You'll see the greatest friendship of all. Don't worry about fitting in anywhere. Being a part of something, somebody making you feel bad because you're not a part of this group. You ain't go here or they didn't let you know about that. Get it to yourself. All those things that you need to help your vibration will come your way. It's automatic. It's going to line up. It's going to be there because that's the truth of vibration, of self-creation. So don't worry about knowing them. The whole thing is know thyself. And when you know thyself, that means you spend time. Looking at yourself, looking at your life, looking where you are. Whenever you see a distress somewhere that you feel like you're going through, start with self. Look at self and then break it out from there. And then see if somebody trying to throw some kind of gadget in there to make you go a certain way and you've been in, into that. You don't want to do that. You know, like, I don't know. I guess it's coming up to about taking a bite of that poison apple. <laughs> You don't want to do that because apples are good for you. They say apple day keeps the doctor away. Ah, and that means living a organic lifestyle. And it's not to look at the foods as being organic because they can put the word organic on it and it's not. If you grow it for yourself and you know your seeds was good and you pray that they really was the way they were labeled, then maybe it's that way. But our vibration can shift and change the frequency and vibration of anything that we bring into our space, and we must remember that. So where are you starting to breathe from today, and how are you taking that breath? And if you're going out there to learn about the many, 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 many breaths that you can take to help your body from one situation to another. But the main thing about the breath and which makes it so important is the fact that it helps accelerate that lymphatic system to do its job, the purification system of the job, that sewer system that cleans up everything. We got to move. We got to keep everything flowing, frequency flowing and moving like the waters of the ocean. We got to keep it flowing, family. That's what you got to do. So sit back. Take a deep breath. I'm going to come back and share a quick story with you, finish up the nerve force. No, I think we'd be doing probably just number five. So we're going to listen to some music because I feel good because all the father's energies are strong right now. 
It's my father's birth month. Father's Day is coming around. He's been around me for a little while now. I've been going through some things, dealing with feelings and vibrations of men. So that's when the men in my life come back around that's no longer here. My dad, my brother, my son, my, even my husband. He had to come through last week and say some things to me about the, my current situation, you know, and I'm grateful to that. So it's Father's Day weekend. It's a good day to look at, even though we say it's every day, but it's a good day to look at that and being thankful for the energy of that male energy that's so powerful that brings that equal balance to that female energy. So we're going to take a station break, and within that station break, we're going to listen to an eight-minute talk on love from none other than a doctor, a Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King and the Skaggs group. So enjoy, sit back, breathe, relax, and I'll see you in about eight minutes. Do you feel lost? Do you feel out of sync? Could it be that you are experiencing electromagnetic sensitivity? Yes, electromagnetic sensitivity. Could man-made frequencies interfere with cellular activity and melatonin production? We are beings of frequency, light, and information, and you are your own experience. Do not conform any longer to the patterns of man-made mindset of human consciousness. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Schedule your Nest ProVision Human Body Field Scan with Dr. K. 202-248-7749. Visit the website for CellLife.com. The number 4, C-E-L-L-L-I-F-E dot com. Have the courage to expand your horizon and reprogram your cellular activities. Call Dr. K for your 15-minute wellness consultation, 
Yes, a medical, you might have all of the mysteries and understand them so that you can remove the mountains of material obstacles. You may move all of the mountains that stand before you, but unless you have love, it means nothing. But even more, America, you may give your book to Jesus. You might have power Dr. Martin Luther King, and I think that was Skaggs. You know what I'm saying? Love. I love that beat. You'll find that tune on my website, ConsciousSelfCare.com, C-O-N-S-C-I-O-U-S-E-L-F-C-A-R-E.com. So when you go to my website to check out everything that I offer you, you can click on that link and put yourself in a vibration of love. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care who's bringing it to you. But when you focus on self and focus on love, it shifts. It shifts the vibration. And that's what we have to do. We have to be in that state to shift our vibrations all the time. And we got to have that nerve force power. That nervous system, that force power. So when you go to my website, you'll see that I offer you to be able to find out what's going on with your body energetically by using the Nest Health Wellness Tools. I can scan your human body feel anywhere in the world you are. Just buy a device. Go out there and read it. I'm telling you, we're going to see just what's going on in your aura Break it all the way out to what it truly is, as your human body feel. We're going to see what's happening up there, and we're going to see how it's affecting down the line the human body. I love that tool. I use it to see what's going on with my own self, uh, to make sure that I'm in balance with what I know about myself, and it always comes true, you know, because that's what it is. That's your vibration. And the Max Paul system that I use, which reads the autonervic nervous system, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic, it lets you know your stress level, what's going on with your arteries. See, when you come to me, I'm going to run the test. I'm going to give them to you so you can read them and interpret them for yourself and decide what you're going to do about it. Because there's nothing greater than you. I don't care who you work with, what products you use, there's nothing greater than you because they say, truthfully, any minerals, vitamins, enzymes, proteins, whatever you need, sit back, think about it, meditate on it, and you shall have it. It should be right there. You can give it just that much vibration. So we're going to pick up where we left off last week and the week before. We're talking about, um, what was the title? There are six basic fears. Y'all know how I break out that word. But we're taking this from um, Dr. Bragg's. ND, PhD, Life Extension Specialist, the brag line of nutritional products. been using them for a long, long time in my life. Their books are great books. Um, and this Nerve Force one is a great one that I'm glad that I didn't give away, that the universe sent me to a couple of weeks ago. And I'm sharing with you the message that I got from it, definitely about there are six basic fears. So we talked about the fear of poverty, the fear of ill health, we talked about the fear of old age. We talked about the fear of criticism last week. So those back two shows, go back and listen to it and talk to yourself and see what shifts you need to make and where you're giving your power to. So today, uh, since I played that lovely song from Skaggs and the words of Dr. Martin Luther King, my energetic vibration of a uh, person that comes to me to give me light and guidance, guidance and tell me some things to be doing, I honor him with that song right there. And so we're going to talk about the fear of the loss of what we see love as through the eyes of a human. So this is what he has to say about fear. Fear number five, the fear of the loss of love. When the nerve force is at a low, you are inclined to assume an inferiority complex. You lose your self-confidence. Feeling inferior, you begin to fear that someone else may take away one who is near and dear to you. There is just one way to defeat this gnawing fear, and that is to build your nerve force so high by natural living that any feeling of inferiority will leave you forever 
any feeling of inferiority, wherever, whatever it is, when you have strong nerve force. He says jealousy is something all jealousy is something all we humans must fight. I don't fight. Nope. But anyway, jealousy is something that all we humans must fight. We can love someone, but that does not mean that we own that person. That's why I don't fight. <laughs> Let me stop, okay. As you build your nerve force, you will see the wisdom of letting every person live his own life. Build your nerve force so high that you are above jealousy, above the fear of losing your beloved. Love is the strongest force in the world. And we know that laws of vibrational energy. Love is the strongest force in the world. Give love and you will be loved in return. Just keep giving love like I do. Remember that you can never lose one whom you love and who loves you. If you do lose your beloved to someone else, you may be sure, you may be very sure he or she was not really your beloved in the first place. Keep on looking. You must remember that there are plenty of fickle people in the world and there is no use crying over their loss. In such cases, one might do well to remember the classic line. It is better to have loved and lost than to never have loved at all. Or better still, the paraphrase, it's better to have loved and lost. Lots better. <laughs> at least you felt it. The vibrations of love, laws of energy, so you know you have a better feeling knowing what you want this time. So the fear of being alone and unloved, although it haunts many people, it's groundless. It's a groundless one. It's a groundless fear. Why? Because you got self-love, self-care, self-respect, self-love. There is always someone who needs your love, you, you, vibrate it out, and who needs to love you. Yes, somebody wants to love you. Seek and ye shall find. Seek and ye shall find. All you need is the confidence that comes with health and a powerful nerve force. So if you're healthy, feeling good, feeling vibrant, got that nerve force strong, you're going to have love. It's going to come into the physical realm of your life. And only you know what that is for you. But y'all know the love of our life is the laws of vibrational energy. So that was number five. And I'm going to wait till next week, and I'm going to share the last one, the fear of death. Because that's why a lot of people get caught up in pharmaceuticals and listen to a doctor. They'd have gone so much, you forget the body wears down, the body got to go through changes and growth patterns. And, and they get all fearful about dying, and we got to know what that's all about. There is not a cell in our bodies that is over 11 months old. I'm going to share this again. With the exception of our bones and teeth. No part of us is old, but our thinking and outdated states of consciousness, outdated states of consciousness. What is your state of consciousness? How is it moving you? How is it having you think and how is having you respond? Because there's no part of you that's truly old. If everything is only 11 months old, come on, people. What are we going through? That's why I asked you to come dance with me, taking those deep, deep breaths and shift out of chronic disease, care, stress and start living. Stepping up out of the dark ages of health care. So, again, go visit my website, ConsciousSelfCare.com, C-O-N-S-C-I-O-U-S-E-L-F-Care.com. Schedule to have the um, Nest Wellness Test done. Like I said, I can work with you anywhere in the world just by a simple device. Not only can I work with you, but you can let other people use that device as well. I also scan your pets, too, your dogs, your cats, your horses. That's all I work with. But that's only... Uh, <laughs> That's it. I can't come out there, but you can scan. They can use that same scanning device. Your dogs, your cat, your horse, members of your family can use that one device to find out energetically what's going on with you. You can match things up with what you're doing and not doing. We're talking about healthy living. One love, one community living in unity. Energetically speaking, you have the power of conscious creation. You have this power to recreate, to redefine yourself and your actions. Your only teacher is your soul self. 
your subconscious mind, what's the programs in it. You got to understand that you might have to reprogram. You might have to get that rewind, record over, replay button that's holding you back from the things you need. So that's what I'm here to do to assist you with. As the one and only conscious self-healthcare educator, certified lithologist, pioneer in bioenergetic, bioinformation and wellness specialist, teaching the skills of cellular ecology. And all I say is, are you ready to bury disease thinking? Are you ready to start living? Are you willing to stop disease testing that fears you? Take these same, I use the same tools they use, but the Max Pulse system. I'm not going to give you a deadly diagnosis, but you'll know what's going on with your organs and the processes of that system and what you are not doing and what you may need to start doing, you know, and making some changes. You know, you might have been a fruitarian, you might have been a vegan, you might have been a raw eater, you might have been a meat eater. You have to make some adjustments, whatever they are. Just make the adjustments, get the body back in tune, get the body functioning right, and then you can move on. You're talking about working from the heart mind. We're not talking about working from the brain because, you know, like my brain just got flooded. <laughs> Had some stagnation up in there. <laughs> I got to thank my high state of consciousness because that working outside, that high state of consciousness made me see what was going on with my brain. They had me set back after that. woke up and found out that it was a stroke. I was like, okay, now this is what I need to do for this area right here. So we talking about work from the heart because when you work from the heart, that imagination that flows, that feeling. So attention or not, or intention or not, you're going to be manifesting. And it's a quicker route. That heart, that image, imagination, feelings get the blessings. Like Reverend Ike said, you got to feel it. You got to know it. You got to understand it. You got to be in tune with it. So whether you have attention on it or not, you're going to be manifesting. So we want to want to go through the process of what they put us through in this manifested world of reality. You got to get a thought. Then you get imagination. But you know what? We get stuck in that thought, that thought process. We get stuck in somebody else's thought process because if they're good, because I'm going to tell you something, medical doctors are good. I know. When you go through that training to have people fall on your spell, you receive that training and you know how to work with people, and manipulate people. That's why I don't use those skills when I went through those training and they tell you how to do all that kind of stuff and words you use and how you can play back on people. I don't do that. I don't use that. We don't need to be doing that to people just to get what we want out of it. Healthcare is so important. People's lives are so important that we shouldn't be able to do that. But you got to paint a garden one thought at a time. You got to see that picture in your mind of who you are and where you are and what you're going through and that you can change things. You have to be the one to do that. We can assist you. We can tell you what's going on. But it's your vibration. It's your vibration that changes things. So take those deep, deep breaths. Don't give your power away to people, places, or things. You got to be in love with yourself. And if you're not there, you might have to return to love. When you feel like hope is gone, look inside you and be strong. You got to search inside your soul. There is the answer. Cast your fears aside. You know you can survive by the renewing of your mind. Don't let them take your thoughts away. You got to hold on to the right thoughts. So hold on in time. You will find a way to free yourself in enough time. You will finally see the truth that lives inside of you when you return to self-love, self-care, self-respect. So find it in your mind or reach that higher, higher state to take you there again. That place when you were free to see things from the inside, that intuition from the all-knowing mind. Feel it in your heart and you will know you are there. A return to love. So when you feel like hope is gone, look inside you and be strong. Search inside your soul. There is an answer. Cast your fear. Fear. We've been going over false education accepted as reality. False evidence appearing real. You got to know the difference. You got to not have fear. Knowing thyself 
understanding nutrition, understanding your body, understanding the vibration, understanding where you are and what you're doing. There's no one set pattern for anybody. We are individualized people. Cells function the same way, but we are individualized as our state of being that moves this body that we are using, that we are in control of. Remember, this holographic image is controlled by you, your consciousness, your state. So breathe and relax. Don't get so caught up. Learn about your body and what you're doing. You don't need to be a medical doctor. But you do want to become your own wellness doctor, your own wellness doctor, so you can have intelligent conversations with people when you do go for support to ask them what's going on. And everybody, it's your responsibility to learn nutrition, what the cells need from the foods, the liquids, whatever you put into your body. And again, it's that season where when you go outside, go barefoot, take them shoes off your feet. I'm not talking about walking in the concrete. I'm talking about walking in the grass. Try not to walk over there where they put all them chemicals at. Find yourself a nice place. And I did it yesterday, and I felt so good. Sometimes I even forget that my body is in this state that is in as it adjusts because I'm telling you, it's been over a year, and I'm getting used to it. But everything is functioning a lot better. My arms are moving better. My legs are moving better. My body internally is moving better. I'm getting a lot of fluid, and I, I'm here to tell you, I mean, I thought about all the fluid that came out of my body and it's still some more here. That's why they say people got so much fluid in their body they don't even know. The tiniest person, it's not about weight. Just because you see a person that seems obese or weight, you say, oh, that person got too much. You can be tiny and small. That's why I want you to join my group, Lymphatic Cell Your Wellness, and get that book from Dr. Samuel C. West and understand what's going on with your body, even though you might be tiny and you're going through some things. It ain't all about obesity, as they be saying. It's about how the body is working, how your cells are working, how you are working. So sit back and relax and think about the ultimate stress buster. We must learn to be big enough to actually love our enemies. I don't want to hear it. Yes, that's what I said. We must learn to be big enough to actually love our enemies because you're not an enemy to yourself, so you really can't have none. Be, be blessed. So we must learn to be big enough to actually love our enemies, to bless those who curse you, to do good to those who hate you. And if possible, and you are in that praying straight, pray for those who persecute you and despitefully use you. Send them out some good vibration. They bring their own karma to them. Let go of the mental attitudes associated with stress. Like I said, you got to let go of worry, fear, anger, loss of temperament, holding grudges, resentment, all those things. Because there's no self-care in those things. You can't have it when you have those things going on in mind. So we must love ourselves enough to love our enemies if we are to have peace. But if you're not an enemy to yourself, you can't have enemies. You just see what people are and what they're doing. And you know how to respond to it to protect yourself. If we will truly make an effort to do this, it will help establish peace and harmony in your life and the lives of your family. The laws of health is the laws of peace. The laws of health is the laws of peace. If you're not healthy 100%, there's somewhere in your life there is no peace. You got to find peace and you'll have greater health. So to have truly healthy body, you must learn to live in peace. Peace. Let there be peace on earth. And let it begin with you. It must be peace on earth. And you got to have it with yourself, family. So get in touch with me. Let's have a conversation. Check me out. Karen Davis. Folks. F-O-U-L-K-S. Karen Khadija Davis, folks. Look me up. Any social media, look me up on Facebook. See what's available to you out there that you can tag along into. Go to my website. It's a learning website. Sit back, listen to some music. Sit back and listen to the Emancipate Yourself from Medical Mental Slavery Day radio shows, our different panel people that's been on. And raise your vibration. Shift your energy. Fall in love with yourself again. If you haven't already, then try self-love. 
try self-care, try self-respect. I'm telling you 100%. You're going to feel that vibration. You're going to feel rejuvenated. Ah, you're going to feel self-love. You're going to feel fantastic because you can lift yourself from any state, from any situation. That doctor gave you that bad news, supposedly bad news. You thank him, you turn it around, and you change it. Don't let them doctors bully you into being on a bunch of medication that's only going to tear your body down. For every drug, they say it's 50 to 100 reactions in your body, and if you want 10 or 15 of them, know what you're doing to yourself. Understand what you're doing to yourself, where those drugs came from. So take that moment. Take a deep breath. Sit back and relax. Talk some new talk to yourself. You know how I tell you I talk to y'all sales? Talk to your C-E-L-L. Have a celebration. Loving yourself. Changing yourself. There's nothing about you that's older than 11 months except for your bones and your teeth. Did you keep hearing me say that? That means you can shift. That means every organ changes. That means your blood changes. That means everything changes according to what you're doing, what you're thinking, how you're acting, and that word believe. Believe you can, believe you can't, be the daggone way you're going to be right. So I say believe in self-love. Believe in self-care. But definitely know thyself. Learn thyself and love thyself. So take your deep breaths through the week. Get in touch with me. Let's wake things up. Let's make a shift in our life. Let's bring about some good things. Ah, Take charge of your mind. Take charge of your body. Crack the self-talk code and renew your mind's awareness. So if your self-talk is talking about some pills and some doctor and something like that, and you're not seeing the results you want to see, that is why. That is why. And the more pills you're on, the more pills you stay on, you're going to end up in a nursing home. You're going to be over there for 10 years. They're going to make their money off of you for 10 years. Then they're going to tell your family member it's time to let you go. And then they're going to let the person go. Let's stop giving them that glory over there. Let's be in control of our health, how we do things, and how we are going to leave planet Earth. It's time. It's time for a universal shift in consciousness and state of being. Ah, Take a deep breath. Meditate on those things and everything that you've heard on innerlightradio.com, the healing frequency where transformation begins. This is Wellness Wednesday. Ah, Listen to those shows in your mind and what you have been shared with and see what information you can pick out to help you move into a different state. And how you going to start seeing things and talking to your doctors. And don't worry about them getting mad because there's plenty of them. They don't want you to really talk to them and ask them no questions and say what you feel. And they're going to say, oh, you're trying to be a doctor. I'm the one that went to medical school. Well, hell, I can read. I can study. I can learn just like you did. I can talk to a professor. So we got to understand that. We've got to have that self-love, that self-care, that self-respect. So that's all I'm saying, family. Tune into yourself. And remember... The truth about that daggone psychiatry field that everybody trying to get you to get caught up in on my way out. Everybody want to have a mental issue. And then when you're on those darn drugs, you're really in trouble. I'm telling you, you don't want to start taking those psychotic drugs. They done had our kids on them for a long time. And you don't want that. So you got to understand the truth about the field of psychiatry and where that's coming at now and what they're trying to do. They said, okay, well, they're trying to get rid of the medical and they're trying to turn it into something else. But we're over here in the psychiatry field. We're different. No, that's the fakest field. Fake, fake, fake. As uh, what that man say, fake news, fake feel for real. Okay, we're going to have all kinds of emotional states, but we don't have to get caught up in a lot of things. And nine times out of ten. The brain is imbalanced because it's not receiving a proper nutrients to be able to do its job to send the right signals. So what are you feeding yourself? Words, actions, food, indeed. So take your deep breaths. Relax through the week. Tune into yourself. Thank you so very much for tuning into the Conscious Self Healthcare Conversation Radio Show. Thank you for visiting my website. Thank you for recommending people to come and listen to the show. Thank you for sending people to my YouTube channel, K Davis F, to listen to the rebroadcast shows. I appreciate it. I feel your energy. I feel the information. Things are opening up, and it's going to be a great, great, and mighty change for a lot of people when we truly understand. And another thing, family and friends. Y'all out there that don't eat meat, y'all better not be getting caught up in all that fake 
Eek, I get ready to say something. Y'all better not get caught up in that fake meat out there they're creating, talking about this is the best kind of meat now, and with all that stuff that's going on over there. If you're going to be a raw eater, be a raw eater. If you're going to be a, a fruitarian, be a fruitarian. If you're going to eat meat, eat meat. Don't eat that fake out stuff out there and really clog your body up. It's a lot of stuff out there that they're creating now. And how the heck are they creating it? Yeah, you better think about that. Ah, uh, yeah, I said think about it. Y'all know that song, You Better Think. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling good. That's what nature does to you when you get out into the sun, you feel the rays on your body, you walk barefoot in the grass. Things be looking good. I do not trust the Beyond Burger. You better believe it. Don't trust it at all. And that's what I'm talking about. All that new kind of stuff that's coming out, that Beyond Burger. They had another one, Beyond Something Else, I just saw today. Uh, something else. That came, I'm like, I'm trying to tell you. And people, and that, you know what? The stock market on that crap just went up. I might get some stock in it now because people still <laughs> let me stop. <laughs> I might get some stock in it. <laughs> Make some quick money off of it. <laughs> the Impossible Burger, yeah. <laughs> the Impossible Burger. Y'all people better look out for that stuff. I'm telling you, get some halal meat or something. If you're going to eat it like I do when I want something, I'm going to go get it the most purified way where I can almost trust the people over there that they're going to make sure that it's halal. If I do decide I want to eat something, I don't deny myself anything. And definitely since I had this stroke, I knew it was certain things I had to eat that I never ate before. And I went on and did it. My connected tissues and things are coming back together. So, you know, through meat. Nutrition, conscious thinking. I got my tools to keep a check on myself. I got my Max Pulse system. I check my auto ergonomic system. I got my Nest system where I check energetically what's going on with my body. I put the two together and I make conscious self health care moves. That's why I'm moving beyond this stroke when the man said I'll be back in three months and it's almost a year and a half. Now ain't going to keep going on too. So, Setback family, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in to the Interlight Radio. The healing frequency where transformation begins. Visit the channels. Give me a call. Talk to you next week. Peace, love, harmony. Ah, take those deep breaths. Ah, take those deep, deep breaths. Wow, family, that was a great show. I want to thank you so very much for tuning in to the Conscious Self-Health Care Conversation Radio Show right here on Interline Radio. It was a pleasure having you tuning in. Now, you must tell a friend to tune in. And if you haven't called in and shared your wellness story, don't you think it's time that you help somebody with your wellness story? Call in, share your story, join the conversation. I'm Karen Khadija Davis, folks, and I invite you to visit my website, ConsciousSelfCare.com. Or you can just go to the number four, the word C-E-L-L-L-I-F-E dot com. Leave me some information. I would love to talk with you. And once again, I look forward to you joining us next Wednesday right here on the Conscious Self Health Care Radio Show. It's a conversation where we uplift each other, where we share our wellness stories so we can help someone move from disease care to conscious self-health care. Thank you for tuning in. I look forward to hearing from you next Wednesday.
Hi, Dr. Mark Lynch, VIP Chiropractic. Um, this time of the year, springtime, a lot of my patients are having allergies and sinus congestion. So I've, I've done this only probably a thousand times in the office. And, and, and I said, you know what, why don't I make a little video? Then people can watch the video. So I'm going to do a very quick crash course on how to do lymphatic drainage of the sinuses and of the throat. Um, it is relatively pretty easy. Uh, and this has helped so many moms with their children who have sore throats so they can go to school the next day but also people right now with the allergies uh, so Wendy if you want to zoom in on the poster and the whole lymphatic drainage of the whole face breaks down into three different zones there's the top zone which is your forehead zone that goes to the front of the uh, TMJ then there's the cheek zone then there's the jaw zone they all drain to the front of the TMJ, then they go down the neck, and they go into these two little spots, respectively, on the right side and on the left side. Um, now, um, also, sometimes the sinuses, so you've got your frontal sinuses right here, you've got your ethmoid and maxillary sinuses right in here, but sometimes the, the, the fluids don't even drain to the front of the jaw, they actually go to the ear, crazy as it sounds. So there's also lymph nodes at the top of the ear, front of the ear, back of the ear, and right down at the base of the skull. So crazy is enough the sinuses can drain all the way back to here, which is nowhereville, it's stuck, and now that's part of your, your headaches at the back of your head versus the headaches at the front of the head where your sinuses are. Uh, so basically what you always do in the beginning is just tap, tap, tap on these two right and left spots, and that truly is the lymphatic drainage of the whole body on the right side eventually goes right to here. So even when we're tapping here, we're helping drain the big toe, uh, which crazy as it sounds. Then the spot right here on the left side, helps drain the whole left side of the body. So when you're doing the uh, sinus decongestion, the sinus drainage for this allergy symptoms, you always start right here and you just tap, 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 tap. Then you rub down the side of the neck and I'll demonstrate on myself in a second, uh, but behind your big SCM muscle with seven lymph nodes in your neck. This, uh, and you just slide down, you get some oil or cream on your hands so you don't rub your skin raw, you just slide down the neck. And, the, and you always gotta start down here first because if you're trying to get this to move and this is all congested, it, this can't drain because there's a traffic jam right here. So you always start at the bottom, work your way up. Uh, so from here, then you're at the very front of the TMJ, the jaw, and you just push that fluid from the jaw over to the side of the neck and then down the neck, tap, tap, tap. Um, then you can get into more specific work of helping the frontal sinuses drain, and that's just going to be gently caressing the skin from your forehead down into the front of the TMJ, doing that multiple times, and then you get right in that little corner where the, uh, the, eye, the inner medial eye socket is. A lot of fluid gets stuck in that area and it forgets, to get, how do we get out of this cul-de-sac when you come this way, and you've got to demonstrate and you've got to show it to the patient. So you just rub over the top of the eyelid and you rub over the top of the eye socket, again, bringing it to the TMJ. Then you're underneath and you're rubbing under the bottom of the eyelid and the cheek zone and you're rubbing it to the TMJ. And then you could also be down on the jawbone itself, rubbing it up to the TMJ. And now we're doing the true drainage since we opened everything up. Now you rub from the TMJ into the side of the neck, down the side of the neck, tap, tap, tap. So how does that look in real life? Well. Um, right here is your clavicle bone. You want to be just behind the clavicle bone, right in this hollow of the side of your neck, right there. And you're just tapping. That's all you're just tapping. Now back to what I mentioned earlier with sore throats. A lot of times, just doing this tapping helps get all the used white blood cells out of the area. So fresh white blood cells for your lymphatic system to come in and fight the invader. This is a beautiful thing. I haven't had a sore throat in 10 years because whenever I do feel it coming on, I'm like, oh no, I won't be able to go to work tomorrow, I'll be sick. No, just do this, and now you see me rubbing down the side of my neck. And so I've never had to not miss work because of a sore throat, because I helped my body be strong, and I helped my immune system really get to the area that needs some support. And this has helped a, a lot of young mothers when the kids come home from school, they don't feel good. And you just do this on them, and you will feel a difference. If this is really puffy, it will be down and reduced in size in five minutes. It works that fast. So you may want to do it more than once or twice. could be a little more uh, stringent. So if I'm ever on a long trip driving somewhere, you'll, um, you'll see me doing this um, because i got the time. But also, if I'm going to catch a plane uh, and I'm in an airport with a lot of you know new people, 
and new bacteria. I'll constantly do this. And I won't even have any symptoms, but my lymph nodes will be swollen because my body's already being exposed and trying to process information of new ant antigens in the air. And this really works well. So there's your side of the neck. Um, right here's that TMJ. So I'm just gonna rub, I'm just helping. Because a lot of times the lymph that gets stuck right here, it forgets to jump over and come down the side of the neck. So that's it, you just do that right there, right there, right there. The forehead, here's your forehead, and you're just massaging it down, helping move that, those congested lymph nodes, move that fluid to the TMJ. Here is the, um, the upper eyelid, so I'm in the upper part of the eye socket. And then I'm gently with the eye closed, obviously, just massaging that uh, swollen eyelid over to the TMJ area. Uh, a lot of fluid gets stuck in here, so you just gotta go, come on, this is the way you're supposed to go, this way, this way, this way. And then I'm massaging it this way. There's my bottom of my eye socket. There's my eyelid. And I'm helping move it to the TMJ. Again, TMJ to the side of the neck. Very gentle. Down, 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 down. Tap, 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 tap. Here's the cheek structure to the TMJ. Here's my uh, lower jaw. Bringing it to the TMJ. TMJ and over. Down, 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 down. Uh, I didn't talk about it earlier, but you could actually be under the, under the mouth. There's your sublingual and submandibular lymph nodes. And I'm on the side of my throat, pushing it toward the SEM group. Drain, 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 drain. Tap, 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 tap. The ear loads, uh, the ear lymph nodes I was talking about, there's ones at the top, the front, the back, and the suboccipital. Very easy. Just massage around the ear. And that one you just goes right down to the SEM. <coughs> tap, tap, tap. Uh, also your suboccipital lymph nodes. Again, I'm just bringing them to the sides. And you'll feel it. Sometimes there'll be a nodule or like a little baby pee and you're just helping put, because it's swollen, bring it to the side, down the side, tap, 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 tap. Uh, something else that helps with sinus decongestion is just doing a counter rotation like this. A lot of times this nasal frontal bone junction really gets jammed up. So I'm just going back and forth, and you can do it as strong as you want. I'm kind of demonstrating a little more visually so you see the direction of force on the camera. But that really does open up this area which gets very congested and the other thing you could also do is just tractioning the nose bone trying to unjam the nose bone so i'm pulling down on the nose and i'm lifting up on the forehead and that really helps open up that sinus congestion area um, so there's some quick tips and i really have to give a thanks to dr violini who was my chiropractic instructor at clinic back in 1986 and 87. Um, who demonstrated that and he was an old Italian chiropractor from Brooklyn and boy uh, he was a great guy so uh, hopefully that's helpful for all my sinus sufferers and sore throat sufferers and uh, there you go have a good day